Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, I'm showing you guys how you can make a minimalistic, that's not even a word, a minimalist uh, logo in Photopea and uh, super easy. I screwed that intro up, but you know, who cares? Let's get into it. All right, first things first, we got to start by making the project. So go to new project right here and go ahead and type in 800 by 800 up here. Or, you know, maybe you could come down here and just click on YouTube profile or Twitter profile or whatever you want. But I'm going to just go with 800 by 800 and I'm going to hit that create button. So now we have our canvas here and we're ready to start working. So let's go on the Internet and let's find a picture of like a forest or anything simple and uh, let's bring it back into photo piece all right i found a picture i looked up forest background and i found this lovely picture right here so i'm just going to copy that bad boy bring it back into photo p hit Control v to paste it and here we go we got our nice background so what i like to do is i like to add the first initial of my youtube name which is c so what you can do is say your name is alex right on youtube you could just type in a or you could put your logo here. That's also a viable option. I'm going to go with a C. And uh, that's an A. So there we go. C. And I need to make it a little bit bigger. So let's type in like 700. Okay, that's that's pretty big. Move that to the center. Center, but a little bit up. Like that. And I don't like this font. So I'm going to find a different font. Uh, no, I don't think so, buddy. Nope. 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 No. No. Ah, yeah, let's do this one. Hit that check mark. It's a little too big now, so let's take this down to 600. And let's drop it down to 400. That's good. Now move that to the center. A little bit up. Oh, this is the font, by the way. I have no idea. Block letters. Oh. Block letters V Vil Vils 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 Tift. Anyways, that's it. And uh, hit that check mark. Now go to the text tool once again and type in your full YouTube name. So mine is obviously Cambit Creates. The one and only. And I'm going to put that right below the C. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make this look a little bit better by making the text look a little bit brighter. So what you can do is you can add a color overlay on both of them to make them just white. And then you could add a drop shadow on them. Turn the angle to about 90 so it's right uh, below it. And distance, turn that up a bit just so it's barely noticeable. And the opacity, I turn that down a bit. Do the same thing with this one. Okay. Now it's looking good. Now what we can do is go to the top layer and click this little half circle and go to curves. Now go to red, move it up on this line and down on this line. Go to blue, green. I had a tutorial on this too. You might've seen it. Move it down. Do the same thing for all of them. And what you can do is if you want it to be more of a certain color, like more bluish or purple. Oops, I completely screwed that up. So like this kind of look, it looks really nice. So for the blue, I have it higher up on this line and higher up on this line. Makes it look nice. And go to the background layer, go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast. Turn up the contrast a bit and the brightness. Go to image adjustments, vibrance now. Turn the vibrance up. Now it's looking good. Um, what you can do now is you can go down here to your either your line tool or your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right below your text. Make it the width of your text. And move it down a bit about here hit control J and move the other layer above it like that so it gives us some uh, 
more detail. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I think it makes it look pretty nice. Um, it's kind of hard to see up here, but overall, I think it looks pretty decent. Maybe I would change the text, honestly. Uh, this font isn't very good for what we're going for. So we can try some other ones like this. May make it a little bit bigger. And then of course you'll have to remake the lines, but I think this looks pretty good so far and you can remove the lines if you don't like them. It's completely up to you. Um, but it just kind of separates the text a little bit. Overall, I think this looks pretty good and simple. What do you guys think? Another thing that we can do is we can go to the background layer, add a gradient, change the style to radial. Let's find where, out, where the uh, black part is. Reverse that. And then adjust the X to where it looks like a spotlight on your text like this. And now just change the blend mode to multiply. And you can adjust the scale to make the edges darker like that, or just a little subtle darken. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Super easy and simple, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Also, I'll leave the link to this document or this file down in the description below if you guys want to put your stuff in it like a template. But um, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.